Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining, Cecilia here and I'm all about inspiring you with art, helping you to improve your painting skills and unlocking your creativity. In today's video I'm going to be sharing some tips about how to improve tree paintings. For that I did a comparison of two trees, on the left side you can see the don'ts and on the right side the do's. The medium that I use is gouache on paper, but it doesn't really matter what kind of medium you use, here it's more about some principles which you can apply to any drawing or painting medium. I saw a lot of paintings that looked kind of flat and a painting with objects, like basically what we want is creating as much depth as possible because then the painting really seems to be alive, right? So the number one tip to avoid this flat appearance and instead create lots of depth within the painting is add as much contrast as possible. Contrast like the colors, bright dark, cold warm, as well as complementary contrast and also contrast like big and small, blurred and detailed and so on. And yeah, the more you are aware of these contrasts and bring them into the painting in a way that they are in a well unified composition, the more the painting is realistic and alive. And of course, the shape and the colors of the object itself are important as well. So let's start with the tree trunk. To me, the trunk is probably the most interesting part and I really like those old barky ones with lots of details. On the left side I paint a big trunk with branches and what I see a lot is that people already create a gradient, like a darker and a brighter side, but it still looks kind of flat because there isn't that much depth. They might paint a simple structure with some short brush strokes, but oftentimes it isn't that detailed and the light parts seem to be quite cold. This happens when only white is added for brightening up the color. I mean, it looks quite good, but there is a way to paint the trunk more organic and lively. So what I do instead on the right side is using the same dark brown and creating a smooth transition into the light area, but with a warm light brown. And for that I mix brown, white and also some kind of ochre. In this way you not only have a dark light contrast, but also a cold warm contrast, which creates more depth, as I previously said. Besides that, you can see that I paint a lot more details, I add an eye, a core structure, but also tiny details with lots of little brush strokes and with a greater color variety and thus more contrast. Then coming to the leaves. The typical approach to paint leaves is painting the basic color like the mitone and then using a certain type of brush like a fan brush or just an old freight brush and dab repetitively to elaborate a detailed structure with lots of little dots. So I'm gonna use this method for the left side. I pick a round brush and paint with a mitone color all the green areas that represent the leaves. And then with the same brush and a brighter green, I paint in a repetitive way some dots and work out a structure with lots of little leaves. As you can see, the tree looks quite good, but to me it still looks a little bit flat. So what I'm going to do on the right side is bringing more depth, especially by having a greater color difference and more details. I start in the same way as before. I use the same round brush and mid-tone color and paint roughly the shape of the tree. After that I pick a brighter green and paint the light areas in the same way. But now I don't cover everything, just some parts in order to work out a specific shape. Then I use a really dark green, like the darkest color, the shadow color, and paint right underneath the light areas and a little bit around in a way that the composition looks satisfying to me. But as you can see now there is kind of a harsh transition, like the dark green is kind of in the foreground, but actually the shadow needs to be beneath all the other colors. 
That's why I go over it with the Mitone Green until both colors merge nicely with one another. Next I use a very tiny brush and paint individual leaves. I highlight them by increasing the saturation and brightness of the color. I add to the light green color lemon yellow and white. The reason why we want to add not only white but also lemon yellow is because, again, by only using white the bright color looks kind of cold. But actually the tree is lit up by the sun, which is a very warm light that brings out the greatest color diversity. So I only paint these light spots in the brighter areas, kind of where the leaves receive the most light. After that, I add more details by painting some tiny branches here and there and part of the bigger ones. And then I go over the edges a little bit and put a green dot here and there because mostly they are behind the foliage. Finally, I refine the shape and add the lightest points on the right side because the sunlight is coming from the right side. So yeah, that's it you guys, a simple way to effectively improve your tree paintings. I really hope this tutorial was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below if you still have questions and also if you want to see more of those kinds of videos. As always, I wish you a wonderful day and until next time!